welcome to Bella Healing Therapy, where we help raise people's consciousness through energy work, such as massage, Reiki, tarot, and other divinations. So if this is something that you're interested in, please hit like, comment, subscribe. Let us know that you're watching so that we can continue to make videos like so. And as always, take what flows and let the rest go, because you are the only true divine oracle of your life. So take these messages as they come. And today we're going to be doing a message from your soul. So something deep down in your heart, in your spirit, in your aura, there's something that needs to come to the surface, something that you need to be aware of to kind of help you transition, heal, and grow. So we have three different groups, collective energies of group number one, group number two, and group number three. I'm going to give you a few minutes to just kind of take some deep breaths, settle in, Figure out which stack is calling your name, which one you're more drawn to, which crystal you're more drawn to. That's gonna be group number one with the Amazonite heart, group number two with the rose quartz, and then group number three with the amethyst heart. Once again, that's group number one, group number two, and group number three. And for Instagram, if you were there and rerouted here, you were shown one card, but now we're going to go through the whole stack in a more detailed description of what it is that you need to work on or what your soul's trying to tell you. So just go ahead and go to the timestamp or to the time that your card selection is for the one that you chose on Instagram. So say you chose the rose quartz, you're going to go ahead and fast forward to where the rose quartz is. Okay, well, I hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions or if you don't really like the way I'm doing this, please let me know. I mean, the more information, the better, so that I can kind of change these videos up to something that's more interesting and appealing to the eye. <laughs> um, either way, your help is um, very much needed, and I'm grateful for it, and the more you give me, the better. So thank you in advance. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to your pile selection. So starting off with group number one with this Amazonite heart, which I really love. This is kind of like my go-to stone right now, or I just kind of hold it whenever I feel like I need to be back in my power again. Um, it's definitely my favorite. I've given a few of these to people because it just brings so much balance and strength and that inner power that sometimes we need. So maybe that's what this selection is going to be about. Let's see. I haven't looked at these cards yet. So we have the don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So you may have seen this on Instagram, but if not, this is basically just talking about who or what is bringing you down and keeping you from bring from being that bright star that you are. So is it like um, a job or a person or an activity? Um, some sort of substance abuse or something like that. Like, what is it that's keeping you from being your full, bright self? So if you ever feel down and, like, everyone else is too happy, then it's like, wait a second, why am I so negative right now? Why am I so dark? What is the shadow work that I'm going through? So you kind of just have to step back, observe, and then move forward with it, trying to um, bring more light and, like, lightheartedness into your life. So we have the star. This is about stepping into your power, the creative, the teacher, the Aquarius energy. So free spirit kind of moving into your passions and being bright and letting yourself be seen. Don't try and like hide or mask who you are for somebody else. The visionary, Knight of Scrolls. So scrolls, that turns into um, the swords in this deck. So it's the, this would be the Prince of Swords. So this talks about um, kind of taking those steps to come over your mental struggles. So you aren't completely in your power of it yet, but you're starting to get there. So you're starting to realize that your thoughts kind of create your reality. So you're kind of, in the stage of switching up your gears. You're like, okay, I don't wanna be that way anymore. What can I do to be more happy? And that's what you're gonna start doing. So the Four of Stones, this talks about um, pentacles. So Four of Pentacles, and 
This is about foundation and structure to your finances and your businesses. So becoming more concrete and stable in the things that you're doing. So right now, <clears throat> you may be feeling a little bit insecure or unsure of what lies in your future. But if you start taking steps to plan things out instead of worrying about the big picture, kind of break it down into smaller tasks of things you need to do to get where you need to be. So don't get stressed out with anxiety and be overwhelmed, but chop it down to easy steps. That makes sense. The path of the gods, decisions, meetings, and future plans. So this is exactly what we were just talking about. It's making decisions and setting those plans and then putting them into action. And that's gonna bring you more stability in your finances and in your mind, in your mental strength. You're gonna feel more secure. You're not gonna be so nervous about what's gonna happen because you already have a plan set in motion and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. The tree of souls, collective wisdom, kinship group and library so do your research study like right now i know like people are getting into like crypto sorry i got cut off Whew. so this is about um gaining more knowledge so say there's certain investments that you want to get into then start doing some more research about them before you jump into it or say there's like a business venture that you want to get into make sure that you know everything about the market before you just throw everything into it so instead of um once again being overwhelmed by not knowing what to do take this time to learn to grow and to uh, connect with people make connections um, miracles and blessings, everything has its gift. Have patience, love is patient and kind always. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. Okay, so I feel like this has a lot to do with business, um, with your career. So, Right now, you should be working on building the foundation, structuring out your plan, what it is that you want for your business, what you need to do in order to get it done. Don't depend on other people to give you information. Well, I mean, yeah, obviously do your research and like watch YouTube videos, read books, information from people in that sense, but just don't take what people to say, what people say and then just run with it without doing your own due diligence. So do your research, make your plan, have patience, know that this is gonna be like a snowball. You know, you're gonna start off small, but then you're gonna grow and to create this business, this, this venture, this thing that you wanna do. And just make sure that you're being honest and a good person throughout all of this. Sometimes we get opportunities to be a little bit sneaky or to like, you know, half-ass something or to just kind of take the easy way out, but that's not gonna bring you the foundation that you're looking for. You can't take the easy way out here. You're gonna to have to do the hard work. If you really want this, then you need to put all of your energy and all of your effort into growing, into learning, into doing everything you can to know about the business you're going into. And then you will flourish because then what? You, you can't be scared or overwhelmed about something you don't know because you learned it you took the steps to go and figure this stuff out so have faith in your passions in your creations in your goals but just make sure that you write it out so that you actually start taking the steps and move forward with it and don't let anybody stop you don't let anybody get in your head or tell you that you can't do something because you are capable of doing anything that you set your mind to Okay, we can also do meditations, you know, visualization of what it is that you want your business to grow into. Um, but think about like all the small steps, like every single little goal in your business, like say you want to open up a restaurant. Okay, well, first you need the location. So what does the location look like? You know, what does the building look like? What does it smell like? What does the door look like? Is it red? Is it blue? Is there windows? Like go into all the details of it. And then once you have your restaurants, like what does the food look like? What does it taste like? What kind of 
cuisine are we going to do, you know? And then what kind of customers do we want? What is the layout going to look like? Every little detail, just picture it, imagine it, learn it, grow it, and then create it. So for you, focus on your dreams and your work and you will be successful. So that is it for you, group number one. I hope this message was beneficial and that it resonates, but your soul wants you to move forward with this stuff. So just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Stop making excuses and just do it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to book an appointment, visit www.bellahealingtherapy.com. And as always, if you like this video, please comment, subscribe, share. So that way people can kind of know what it is that I'm doing here. If you feel like it's valuable, then maybe somebody else will too. And also just comment below. Let me know which pile you chose. I'd be interested to see. So thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, everybody that chose group number two with the rose quartz crystal. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you were on Instagram, you probably already know, but we have the Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, and Teacher. Hmm. I'm sensing a lot of feminine energy from this one, so I don't know. I mean, I have a good amount of viewers who are men too, and men can have more feminine energy, just depends on the person, and also just the time. Some people are more in their masculine than their feminine, but that can also switch when you start doing some healing work and kind of rebalancing, which is probably what this group is going to be about, is just finding the balance between your masculine and your feminine energy. So we have the dolphin collar, pure, joyful friendships and loving health, the seer, future prospects, decisions to make, seeking guidance. Kindred spirits, spirit companions, guides, and comfort. Then we have receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. And then we have Merlin the hero, which is really the fool card. And then the Ten of Spirals, which is really the Ten of Swords. All right, well, let me sit with this for a second. Okay, group number two. This energy feels a little bit heavier, to be honest with you. It's more of like a worrisome or like a like a anxiety again like i feel like my heart's beating a little fast i'm worried um i feel like you group number two your soul wants you to connect with somebody that can help you it's time for you to find a mentor or a therapist or just really good friends that are a little distant because you don't want anyone that's too in your circle because i feel like maybe you've had a lot of issues going on in your life maybe you've had a lot of issues in your romantic life and your relationship and you've been talking to your friends trying to get advice but like you haven't really been getting the best advice for your situation because everybody has their own opinions right so it's time for you to go to a specialist a professional who can give you the guided information that you really need to heal yourself because that's what you need to do in order to heal your relationship or whatever it is that you're having a problem with. Whether that be um, a friendship, a family member, um, whatever the case is, it seems like maybe you might be feeling pretty like beat up on, like the world is kind of coming down on you and everybody's after you and you're just emotional and depressed and anxious and it's like, what the hell? Why is this happening? Why is everybody being like this? When really it's like, it's not just them, it's you too. Like I understand everybody has their own things that they're going through, but you need to go through that stuff and heal and work on it. You can't just let it fester and build up and then let your friends get in your head and all of a sudden your emotions are even higher, you're even more upset because they're like, no, mess, like forget that guy or whatever. But it's like, hold on, why is that guy acting like that? I'm not gonna say like, oh, you know, they don't do anything wrong, this is all your fault. No, because this is there's two sides to every coin, right? But 
For you, you need to look at your side. You need to take ownership of your own issues. In order to do that, you need to be able to see it. And if you can't see it, then you need to go to somebody else who can help you see it, the seer. So seeking guidance, loving help, getting somebody who can help you heal from these traumas in this past so that you can start moving forward into healthier relationships with everybody around you and yourself. So instead of having control over everything, you need to let yourself go like the fool card and just be open to what, what people tell you, to what whoever this professional, this therapist, this psychologist, um, mentor, coach, whoever this person is, make sure that you find the right person. But once you do, listen to them. Be open to what they have to say and try your best not to be defensive because that's what we can do sometimes when we feel like it's not our problem, it's other people's. But really we gotta step back and like I said, take ownership over our own problems. So receive with love and appreciation. So instead of just shutting them down and being like, nah, she doesn't know what she's talking about. That's not right. Like, no, actually, maybe she was right. Maybe I do need to listen to this. You know, sisterhood of the rose. I think that I really feel like this is a female who is going through some issues with her relationship, with her family, with her friendships, and she needs to step back outside of that bubble that she's currently in and get into a new one that is safe and secure with somebody who can help her grow and bring more abundance and love and happiness into her life so that she can then go back into her other bubble and spread that energy and that love onto other people. That's how we heal, that's how we grow because we're all connected. So if we're going and we're doing the work ourselves and then we come back to our family and our friends, then they see it, they feel it because we're starting to bring each other up. We're bringing each other up in these vibrations instead of bringing each other down, right? So stop talking shit and start talking about ways to make yourself feel better and take ownership over the things that maybe you haven't been, okay? I don't mean to be rude or to come off aggressive or anything like that, but sometimes you need to hear it. And I feel like your soul is trying to tell you that you need to hear this. And it's time for you to go and find that person who can help you heal. So... I mean, I'm not saying that's me, but <laughs> I have gone through a lot of experiences so I could possibly relate to you and give you some advice or at least tell you what I've done to kind of get through these things. So if you're interested, please visit my website, www.bellahealingtherapy.com. I do tarot readings, but I also do meditation and Reiki healing. So we can kind of focus on what it is that you need to heal and traumas from your past. So every week I'll ask you like, what do you wanna work on this week? Uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, whatever the case may be for you, we'll alter it for that session to work on that. And I'll even make a meditation that's guided to healing those things. Or say like you have some trauma from like a previous boyfriend, then we'll kind of start to work on that stuff. So you can do this with me, or you could do it with another certified Reiki practitioner or find a therapist, like I was saying, coach, mentor. I have a mentor right now. It's been life-changing because I, like you, <laughs> have been blaming other people for certain problems. And then it took her telling me to stop playing the victim to realize that I was kind of the problem. <laughs> and now, the, when people come at me all negative, I don't even let it phase me because of how much I've been healing and growing and detaching from those lower vibrations. So it's like, nah, you can't even come up at me right now because I'm above that, right? Not saying that I'm above everything, but you know, I'm above those emotions. I'm sick of feeling upset and depressed because of other people, you know? So it's time to take ownership of your own happiness, group number two. <sighs> I know it came off aggressive, I'm sorry, but I love you, I love you so much, and I really hope this helps you. If so, hit like, comment, subscribe, let me know you're watching. Um, also, comment down below, let me know which pile you chose, and maybe I could uh, get you a little message or something to kind of help you feel better. Um, either way, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I love you so much. Okay, bye. Okay, last but not least, group number three with the amethyst heart. How pretty is this thing, right? Oh, I freaking love it. These heart shapes are amazing. But just like the feel of it, mm, 
I don't know, it's just like, I can almost smell lavender. <laughs> I know that's kind of crazy, but I don't know. It feels good. I like it. I kind of don't want to let go, but I have to for now. Okay, so let's get started. Instagram people, you already know what's up. Starseed, what lights you up? So a star seed, if you're not aware, is a person and energy that's come from the cosmos, from a place far, far away that brings love and light and healing to people on this planet, which can be a heavy responsibility sometimes because it's a lot of work, but also it kind of... I don't know, it makes you feel different from people. You feel separate. You feel kind of like an outcast in a way. Like you were never really part of like the group per se, or like you always felt a little out of place or like some other place is home, right? This isn't your home. You're from up there. These people, you're just here for a little while, but that's the kind of energy that the star seed has. So if you're feeling down and you're feeling kind of alone and like, like, you know, you don't really get along with everybody or you're not, you're kind of feeling like out of place. You can, like I said, like a little depressed. Then it's time for you to start doing things that make you feel happy. So the opposite. So you're not alone, right? Who do you have? Do you have family? Do you have friends? Is there a coworker or like I was telling group number two, maybe a coach or a mentor or a therapist, someone that you can talk to to kind of let some stuff go so that you can start smiling and being happy again, <laughs> you know? Or is it just doing an activity? Like, do you like um, being outside? Because I do. So every time I go on a hike, it makes me happy. Like at first I might be like, I really don't feel like doing this or I'm tired or I'm just not in the mood and then you do it and afterwards you're like okay i feel much better i'm glad i did that and you're like on cloud nine like why was i making this so difficult right <laughs> so stop thinking of it as like a lot of work to be happy because it's really not you just gotta start doing stuff that makes you happy so i've said this multiple times but make a list of what it is that lights you up so is it talking to grandma or making tamales or shopping but you know, you know, like don't over shop, <laughs> you know, cause like you might have some buyer's remorse afterwards. So don't stick to just one subject to make yourself happy. Like spread it out on this list, make at least 10 different things and then you can mix it up. Like, okay, I did shop already twice this week. So maybe I'm not going to do that one, but I'm going to call grandma cause she makes me happy and she makes me feel good and loved or maybe you just pet your dog because they make you feel loved <laughs> i know he's done a lot for me mr teddy bear and if you don't have a dog go to a friend's house that has one <laughs> or go to the, you know the animal shelter and maybe pick up yourself a little friend maybe that's what you need a little companion because he always makes me feel better i love you okay well let's keep going that was a lot for just your first card but Let's see. There's actually not much in this card. Returning home, transition, life between lifetimes, a loving welcome. So returning home, wasn't I just talking about how the star seed feels like they're not from here, like their home is from another place? So maybe something good for you to do is a meditation that connects you with your soul or with your higher self. Maybe this is what your soul wants you to do is just connect with it some more because you're feeling um, disconnected. So connect with your soul, connect with your home, connect with what makes you feel whole and complete in this body, in this vessel at this current moment in time. So when you do these um, meditations, you might even do like a, a past life meditation or just listen to music that has frequencies that connect you with your higher self and then let yourself go and then kind of just play this movie in your mind. Sometimes it might come a little hard or you might not see very much, but the more you do it, the more you practice, the more you see. And if you have thoughts that kind of come up, like say, oh, you're now, like all you see is like light and you feel peaceful and then all of a sudden, you know, the drama from this morning pops in your head. Observe it, 
push it to the side and let it go and let yourself get back into that place. So sometimes counting kind of helps or just counting your breath because if you're focusing on breathing, then you can't really focus on anything else, right? So let's count and breathe. One, two, three, four. That's a good one to do is breathing in for four, holding it for five, and then exhaling for six. Do that a couple times, get yourself centered, and then that will kind of help you connect more. So I feel like right now, you've been spending too much time in your head, going around, being stressed out. It's time for you to come back here. Come back in, check yourself out, talk to yourself, and forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. So forgiveness, I mean, that's pretty much, I, I, there's not much to explain there, but the forgiveness can be for other people, but it can also be for yourself. Like, do you need to forgive yourself for anything that's happened or the way that you've acted? Or maybe you feel like you need to forgive somebody who possibly made you feel alone. Someone who made you feel unwanted. Someone who probably didn't mean to, but they had their own issues to deal with. So they ended up just dealing with it the only way that they could. And I know that's hard to kind of step back and see that and forgive them, but this is what's gonna help you heal and come over those emotions. Let yourself feel it, forgive, let it go, and then be grateful for the experience because you will never do that to your family or your significant other, your friend, whoever it is, right? Because those pain, that pain, that sadness, that abandonment feeling, you will never want anybody else to feel. So you are gonna do your best to make sure that you have loving relationships and that you are completely there and involved and appreciating every single moment that you have with one another. In Starseeds, a lot of us go through very struggling childhoods because we need to see those emotions early on so that we can help other people when we're older. We start early so that we can heal and start healing earlier for other people too. Like if I didn't go through everything that I've gone through in my life, I would not be here today. You know, I've, I'm not trying to, um, you know, gain sympathy or anything, but I've gone through more stuff than anybody should in a lifetime. And I'm only 32. So it's like, what the hell? Why? <laughs> but if I had that mentality, why is this happening to me? Then I could be in a really bad place right now. You know, I have other people who have gone through similar things in my family who are not in a good place. And that's because they didn't have the love, the support to grow and to heal. And I had to go out and look for that. It wasn't very, very easy. I didn't have parents there to kind of help guide me through life. You know, I did a lot of growing up on my own. I've been on my own since I was 17. But it's because of all of this stuff that I'm here today being able to talk to you and tell you that things can be better and it will be better. Just don't let this stuff, the past, hold you back from being happy. You gotta find your own happiness. In order to do that, you gotta quiet your mind and get in here. We have the King of Cups and the Ace of Stones. So King of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. So getting that emotional fulfillment from yourself being able to fill up your own cup and to make yourself happy instead of looking for external things to do that for you the ace of stones that talks about um like business and starting a new venture and it's time for you to take responsibility of your own happiness so instead of being upset that things weren't easier for you, it's time for you to take those trials and turn them into triumphs, okay? Because you can overcome this just like you overcome everything else in your life. 
and you're gonna continue to overcome stuff, but that is this life, that's what happens. Just be grateful that you are stable and strong enough to do this on your own and be appreciative and loving of any relationship that comes to you because it is a learning lesson. And if you heal from the past, you will have nothing but an open heart and that open heart will attract more people with open hearts. You will be resonating on a higher vibration and you will attract more positive, loving people who are gonna stay. Don't let the past and the, what people have done to you, don't bring that into your future. You know, live in the present, in the moment, focus on your money, focus on your happiness, and just do you. Don't worry about anybody else. Just focus on yourself right now and everything else will come at you when you're ready, okay? Right now, you just kinda kinda step back, look within, and figure out the things that make you happy and how to make that money, honey. Because if you're a little stressed out, if you were dependent on other people to take care of you financially, it's not gonna happen. I mean, maybe, but what comes with that? Usually, usually, not in every case. Somebody now wears the pants in the relationship because they take care of you financially and then you're stuck doing whatever they want because you don't have any money. No, not today. We're not doing that anymore. This is a different time and we are making our own damn money. Go women, go men. <laughs> we all can do this. So once again, the past, old stories, you know, old stories that our family have told us, let all of that go and start creating your future and your own story and make yourself happy, okay? Group number three, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it resonates. And as always, please hit like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know you're watching. Maybe comment down below. Let me know what group you chose. Maybe I can send you a little message or something, maybe an affirmation, something that might help you out. And if you want to book an appointment, visit www.bellahealingtherapy.com. And thanks again. I really appreciate you. Sending you lots of love. See you soon. Bye.